Forrest Gump was directed by Robert Zemeckis, a filmmaker primarily known for the Back to the Future trilogy, in addition to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And I guess we could also lump in those terrible motion capture movies that came out in the 2000s. Boo! You stink! But out of his entire filmography, Forrest Gump is arguably his most influential and possibly the most impactful on our culture. And you might be asking, why am I reviewing this? This film came out 25 years ago. I mean, lumping it in with a series of reviews that I call Retro Movie Minute, in which I not only look back at an older film that I may or may not have seen, judge it based on how it holds up today, but also for a very specific reason too. For me growing up, I'd only seen about half of Forrest Gump. I pretty much saw everything relating to like the Vietnam War sequences, and a little bit before and after that too. I was always embarrassed by the fact that I never saw Forrest Gump all the way through. And when I heard that my local theater was gonna be hosting a 25th anniversary screening of the movie, I knew that this was my opportunity to finally catch up with it, to see it fully realized on the big screen with a 4K remaster. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. But as I mentioned though, I like to have another reason to review an older movie beyond simply just talking about it for reviews. For me, the main takeaway that I got from watching Forrest Gump all the way through was thinking about its historical significance, especially relating to today. And with that, I'll give a brief synopsis of the plot to explain why. So for anyone who hasn't seen Forrest Gump, the basic setup is that we follow a man with the name Forrest Gump, who's lived through some of the most impactful historical events in the 1900s, more specifically from the 1950s to the early 1980s, some of which include the Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement, the rise of counterculture, and then all the economic and political scandals that took place in the 1970s. Throughout the movie, we hear him narrate his own story to various people that meets at a bus stop, and it kind of takes us through the 30-year-long history of when he was younger to now he's a very influential and wealthy man. The thing about Forrest Gump, though, is that he's very dim-witted. He has an IQ of 70-something. I can't remember the exact number. But yes, many do people do point out the fact that he is a very dim-witted and narrow-minded man. And throughout the whole film, we see him go through many different experiences of the people misjudging him, criticizing him for the things that he gets involved in. And that's one aspect that's always kind of bothered my mom. That's one reason why I never fully watched it, because... She always watched this movie and felt kind of dour inside from the fact that she had to watch so many people treat Forrest Gump poorly. But that's kind of the point of the movie. With the fact that Forrest Gump can't really understand much of what's going on with the world around him, he has a much different perspective on events that took place at the time. More often than not, his viewpoint is much different than the controversies that sprung up from these things because he can't understand why some people may react to something with like JFK, or he might not understand why some people may view a certain way about the Vietnam War or anything that they're protesting against. He's just living the life that his protective mom taught him to live. And because of his simple but very straightforward and positive moral values that he has, it's kind of interesting to see how he views the world around him at the time when so many things are changing with with war and with protests and violence, especially in North America. So in a way, people mistreating Forrest Gump is kind of the reason why this movie works so well, is because Forrest Gump is our way into understanding a different perspective on things that we normally have a cynical view on. His personal lack of cynicism and just his always never-ending sincere attitude is the exact thing that we need to understand why a lot of these things that were such controversies back in the day were I don't want to say pointless, but it definitely presents the problems of humanity in a new light in kind of a satirical way, but also one that definitely helps us realize just how horrible people are. This film easily could have been a lot more melodramatic and sappy than it could have been, and there are those who really do feel that way about this movie. For me, I'm not going to blame anyone who thinks that this movie is a bit shallow in terms of emotional manipulation or simplicity with anything that it does. But for me, I really enjoyed being able to see Forrest Gump's journey from beginning to end, and also to see him reap the rewards of the kindness and the goodness that he had bestowed upon others throughout the 30-year journey of the whole entire story. The story between him and his lifelong crush, Jenny, played by Robin Wright, is very endearing. And I also love just seeing the impact that he had in the world, whether or not that might have been with his ping pong skills or just everything that he did in the Vietnam War. It's just plain pleasure to be able to watch this guy have such a positive impact on others. And I don't think any of this worked as well as it did were it not for Tom Hanks' 
iconic performance as this character. What is there to really say about Tom Hanks? I mean, in general, he's one of the best actors of this generation. It's gonna be a sad day when he passes on, but I mean, if there was any actor in our generation who's gonna leave a legacy behind, it would have to be Tom Hanks. I mean, this guy just knows how to inhibit a character. Forrest Gump never felt like Tom Hanks trying to do this, like, dim-witted hick. It all felt like he truly cared about this character. And Tom Hanks really gave it his all with this performance. I mean, you really get what makes Forrest Gump tick. And also, when the emotional beats hit, especially in the last moments of the movie, they really hit because most of the time he's very subdued and he's just kind of laid back and is letting this character just observe everything that's going on around him. When we actually see his reactions to things that are going on, and how he is able to see the goodness that he's reaped throughout his life. I don't know, it was just so satisfying to me. I loved the third act of this movie, just how everything ra wraps up. Although, if there's anything I'm going to take away from this movie in terms of flaws, I would say that the pacing is felt quite strongly at times. I don't necessarily have a problem with long movies at all. I mean, Avengers Endgame was three hours, and I loved every second of that. But my problem with this movie is that I felt like there were some scenes that could have been cut out from the film, and they wouldn't have had really any impact on the overall point of what the movie was trying to make. And not only that, I did notice there were multiple moments towards the third act of this movie where like the music would swell and certain events would take place in the story to make you feel like this was where the movie was leading to and this is how it was gonna resolve. But then it would go on to a different scene and it kind of restarts the pacing and the mood of everything. It was just kind of an awkward pace and the rhythm to how those scenes move together. I nonetheless really appreciated the ending of this movie, but I definitely felt there were multiple times in which the editing could have been a bit more solid and that music could have been either removed or added in certain places to make it feel like a more natural progression to where the story wanted to go. Needless to say though, I think this has a lot of value to our day and age because if you look at all the historical events that took place between the 50s and 80s, some of those things don't even hold a candle to some of the, pl the things that have taken place in the last 30 years, like in the 90s, the 2000s, and the 10s. And if we had another movie like this come out recently, I don't know how it would have done financially, but certainly would have said a lot about how stupid and pointless and just how negative things have gotten in our culture. So to see a movie like this that kind of shows how bad humanity can be but still presents a positive message, I think is necessary. And I hope that people continue to appreciate this movie, not just because of the meme-worthy quotes, or the iconic scenes that people remember. Run, Forrest, run! I hope that they appreciate this movie as a whole for what it is and what it stands for, because not only is it entertaining and shot gorgeously with visual effects that still hold up today, mostly, I think Forrest Gump can do a lot of good in terms of teaching the rising generation as to how we should look at ourselves, think about the impacts that we're having on others, and can hopefully change us as a society for the better. With that, I'm gonna be giving Forrest Gump an A minus. As far as an age recommendation goes, I would say that this isn't the greatest movie for kids to watch. I mean, there are multiple scenes of sexual content in this movie. There's even a scene where Forrest Gump is kind of innocently looking at a porn magazine and you can tell that there are some women in those scenes that aren't wearing any bras. And I mean, there's a couple other scenes like that that don't have like strict frontal nudity, but you can definitely tell what's going on there. And there's also a couple of scenes that do suggest sexual intercourse as well, which are a bit awkward to, for parents who might be sitting in with their kids. And of course there is also language as well with one clear use of the F word and then multiple other profanities said throughout too. I mean, this is kind of like a borderline R film, except there is just enough that's not here to warrant an R rating. I would say it's probably best for anyone who's at least 14 years old. You might disagree with me just based on how you grew up and how much it impacted you, but that's just me personally, what I think, and I would hope that parents could make their own judgment call. Thanks again for watching this review. Uh, and again, I really appreciate all the support you've given me in general, but also for the Toy Story 4 video that I posted. By far, that has been my most successful post. And I thank you so much for, for liking, for commenting, and subscribing to my channel. It really does help me grow my content here. I can't appreciate it enough. If you would like more content, please check out my Facebook, Letterboxd, and Instagram pages in the links in the description below and you'll find stuff there that won't normally appear here on my channel. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and you have a good one.